What up, it's Esteban down here in Center City, Philadelphia at the legendary Mitchell and Ness. And today I get to chop it up with my man Zade. What's good, man? Peace, how are you? I'm Welcome. great, man. Great to be home, great to be in this great city of Philadelphia, one of the greatest sports towns ever. And right now we're hanging out at Mitchell and Ness. Tell me about the history and the lineage that is this store right here. Mitchell and Ness lineage, it goes probably longer than a lot of uh, companies out there, and especially, you know, a lot of people consider us in the streetwear um, category um, extends far beyond, you know, to probably when the streets were made. It's 109 years old. Started out as a uh, sports equipment company, and it just expanded from there. It's always been a Philly staple. Um, in the 40s and the 50s, Mitchell and Ness started to make actual apparel for the teams in the city. Philadelphia A's, Philadelphia Phillies, Philadelphia Eagles. And from that heritage of being part of sports that early on, um, we were able to continue that. It took off in the 90s, hip hop got a hold of it. Right. You know, everybody remembers the extra long 5X jerseys. The you know, throwback the era. Movies. Yeah, you know, Jay-Z with the Jim Brown jersey on. Right. Um, so, you know, from there, you know, it got it got really, you know, excited with um, parts of, uh, with the brand within the entertainment field. Um, as far as the current era, um, you know, it's all about, you know, the, the colors, the snapbacks, um, and the jerseys are actually making a resurgence too. Now, one of the things that I definitely wanted to talk about was the throwback era that you touched on. Hip hop got its hands on the vintage jerseys and then it catapulted. It was actually a, a perfect fit. I mean, you could go back, you know, I, I'm an old school guy, so you could go back to the early 80s and see, you know, people wearing jerseys, wearing the sports hats. Um, it's sports, it's something that as, as guys, and not just men, men and women, the same, we're always into our teams. You know, you from New York, you rep the Yankees, you rep the Mets, you rep the Giants, and that's just why, you know, it doesn't matter what type of music or what type of culture is going on at the time, sports has its own culture outside of that. When hip hop really started to embrace it, um, it was a perfect synergy because we were able to make the product that they wanted to wear. Um, we were able to react quickly and be able to make the jerseys that people you know, wanted to see. On another line too with hip hop, we have a lot of things that range from different prices. We have our hats that are very affordable, but our jerseys are you know, $250 shirt. Not everybody is able to buy a $250 shirt at, at, at leisure, um, right. but the hip hop culture was into that at that time of, you know, a certain extravagance of wearing yes. expensive things. And, you know, what's more expensive than a $250 tank top? As far as the jerseys coming back, it's still a, a momentum thing. I definitely give shouts to Wale and Currency to one of our, our major clients here. They come through, they grab up the whole season. They'll be rocking the jerseys with the sneakers. And um, I know Wale is definitely somebody I gotta give credit to for being a part of bringing that back now in this era. We got to bring it back to the sneakers. You know, this show is all about the kicks. In my life, you get dressed from the head, from the feet to your head. That's how you got to start. Exactly. Indeed. So, you know, was was it, you know, was it some of the players that were coming out with the kicks? You had to get a jersey to match, the hat to match. What, what did it all spawn from, you know, from the footwear angle? Um, well, ourselves didn't spawn from the footwear angle, but I definitely know that the. Um the attractiveness for people to want to match it up with their fashion did spawn from, you know, say a player like Michael Jordan, you know, he wears the different pair of Jordans every year, came out. And so every year there was a different Chicago Bulls jersey that corresponded with that sneaker that came out. And I definitely say he was one of the ones that really took that sneaker culture and it catapulted from there. Um, thankfully, it, it's so connected with sports that we're right there to be able to ride that wave that Every sneaker that comes out is basically a play on some type of team colorway. A lot right. of people come in and they look and say, well, the pink foams came out. You got a, a pink hat? And we're like, well, sorry, we don't really make pink teams. <laughs> but right. you could get yourself a San Antonio Spurs from the late 90s era that did have a splash of pink in there. Mm. And that's a perfect match. So it, it just goes in hand in hand really well. I feel like nowadays in hip hop, we're kind of starting to see that resurgence, artists who are paying homage to, you know, even MCs that they, you know, love back in the day. And now you see it with the sneakers. Now, you know, the re-release of the Ewings, you know, a lot of Jays are getting re-released now. Reebok is re-releasing the Sean Kemp. Just recently, 
Reebok released the um, the Shack Attack. Um, the Shack Attack obviously is a, a, a sneaker that he wore when he was with the Orlando Magic. We actually have the Shack Attack character to a T right here, and um, we we're the only company that has the jersey. So you know the sneaker comes out, people are calling, hey, you got the jersey to match up. Boom, so that does generate, you know, sales for us. We got some great sneakers coming out and, um, you know, we got hats and we always had the Hornet stuff to match up with it. So, you know, it's just always a perfect fit. We just, we've just always been in that right niche to be able to hit whenever hip hop wants to change. We're right there to be able to, you know, we don't even have to change. We're right there with them to usher in the change. So is there anything that is going to be delivered within the next couple days, couple weeks, couple months that you know is going to be a hot item that people are going to go crazy about. Uh, definitely. We definitely got some heat coming. Um, one of the things I pointed out were these hats. It's the whole collection. We also have a lot of new silhouettes that people haven't seen from us. Um, we have a whole tank top program that's coming out this summer. So if you want to, you know, you want to pull the guns out, right. come check us out. We're going to have a lot of fresh looks there, different styles for everybody, as well as some five panel camper hats that a lot of people have not even seen from us yet. And that's gonna, that's wow. gonna change the game. Go to MitchellNS.com, shop on the site, check it out. At MitchellNS.com, we have all the links to our blog, our Facebook. So check for us this summer. It's gonna be online, in store, and also at our authorized retailers. Yeah.